When the California Masonic Memorial Temple was constructed, great care was taken in balancing functionality with an artistic representation of what it means to be a Mason. The 2014 remodel of the building continued that tradition. So the, the need for the project initially was a very practical one. The new stage in the auditorium is a foot higher than the older stage, so we had to have a new staircase. We are Heather and Chris Holm, founders of The Common Gavel. We've been making furniture and Masonic goods for about 15 years. Chris was a pretty obvious choice uh, for the project. Um, obviously, I've known Chris for a long time. A lot of our leadership has known Chris. Um, but we also know his work really well. I was really proud a few years ago to feature his work in the California Freemason magazine. And I think it was important for this project to um, engage a craftsman who was really familiar with masonry and who could be as passionate about the project um, as we wanted our members to be about the end result. And Chris was that person. We were really excited when Alan came to us. The project sounded very cool. Um, it also sounded very complicated. And we love a project full of challenges. I love a project full of challenges. He actually has to build the stuff. It's way harder than drawing it. So um, we just dove right in. The first hurdle was pretty big, which is literally. How do you make a staircase that is to the scale of an auditorium, can fit three or four adults at a time, but then can break down and be stored in a tiny little space? Um, so that was a really tricky thing to figure out. The solution was to split the stairs down the center. Then the top part of each side could be removed and stored in the lower section. Each half then turns on end to sit on wheels so that it can be rolled around easily. Uh, one of the other challenges was that the stairs had to be light enough that two people could lift them up into the rolling position and roll them into the storage area. To accomplish this, Chris connected 220 pieces of aluminum tubing with nearly 1,000 welds to create a stable yet lightweight frame. We always take a lot of care in all the materials we select. The wood for this was no exception. We made sure all of the wood that we picked was native to California, um, except for the, the, mosaic. the mosaic stuff. That was just whatever we got. Um, but, but that was the first symbolic element that we decided on. Like Heather said, there, there was this piece called for a lot of symbolism to be put into it. Um, but with those added elements of symbolism came a fair bit of hurdles that we had to overcome, uh, not the least of which was the mosaic. When we came up with the idea for the mosaic, we took a, a page out of a couple different books. First, to erect the building, every mason in California was asked to donate a day's wages. These donations are memorialized in what's now known as um, the gold book. Also, to create the endo mosaic mural in the Great Hall of the Grand Lodge, Emile Norman gathered uh, soil samples from the lodges in all 58 counties in California. So we really wanted to pay homage to that tradition. Creating the mosaic was a daunting task. It is entirely made from wood objects donated by California lodges. First, there was collecting the donations. As hundreds of donations came in, they needed to be cataloged, photographed, and organized. To begin the process of making the actual tiles, each object was sliced into thin, flat pieces. Those pieces were then cut to size and sanded. Every California Lodge number was engraved on a tile. The lodges that donated to the project got a star engraved next to the number denoting that the tile was made from the actual piece that they contributed. Next, with the help of five and six-year-old artists, the tiles were arranged in a ribbon along the front of each step, and the final location of every engraving was documented. In total, the mosaic took over 200 hours to create. These are all the scraps that I couldn't use in the stairs. All the little pieces. I want to see them get burned. After the mosaic was completed, the scrap wood from the donated items was burnt. 
The ash from the fire was then combined with the resin to create a unique material where the donations became intermixed and inseparable. The Grand Lodge seal was then engraved on the surface to represent the unity of California lodges. The seal plays a key role in another feature. The center section of the staircase is designed to display a point within a circle when viewed from six feet away at an eye level between five and six feet. The two parallel lines are made of acacia and the seal acts as the point. Another element that took close attention was the text engraved on the edge of the stair treads. The top, middle, and bottom stair each bear the perambulation for the first, second, and third degrees. So the, the handrail was, was by far the trickiest element to the staircase, physically at least. And it's free form, so there's no way to, to plan and predict how, how it's all going to work. It, we just had to design it and then uh, hope that it worked the way we wanted it to. The handrail has been designed and crafted to emulate ringlets of hair. The method used to create this element is called bent lamination. A thick piece of maple was sliced into dozens of thin layers. The layers were glued together and placed into a vacuum bag, then muscled into shape before the glue dried. Once the desired shape was created, the air was vacuumed out of the bag. A great deal of sanding and polishing completed the rail smooth surface. To see it come alive and be there, and to hear the stories about all the details that are in it, um, uh, just you know, was much more than we could expect. And I think our members are going to feel the same way. I think the members are going to love the staircase. The staircase is a true work of functional art. Made to last for years to come, it will long serve the fraternity. As members walk these steps, they will be reminded of that which unites us and the ideals the fraternity stands for.